Hi Bobcats, I'm Kelly Dampas, President of Texas State University, and July 1st marks one year since I took office as president. That milestone inspired me to reflect on all that we've achieved here together in our university community over the past 12 months. We have laid out an ambitious new vision for the future of Texas State, our hopes and aspirations high. And we're on track to achieve record-breaking enrollment this fall. Our retention and graduation rates are stronger than ever. And we're preparing to launch a new student success tool and services as well. Research expenditures are on the rise, fueling our run to R1, and the future of our Round Rock campus is brighter than ever. And we have many more achievements on the horizon as well, and I'll share more in my State of Texas State Address to kick off the new academic year in August. For now, I want to reflect on family because it's been an incredible year for us as members of the Bobcat family, but also meaningful for the Danfus family as well. My wife Beth and I have been on this journey side by side, and I can't possibly reflect on my first year at Texas State without having her to join me. Thank you for joining me today, Beth. Thank you. So, Thanks for including me. Yeah, so it's great to have you here. We've done a lot in the past 12 months, I know. It's, it has it's, flown by in a flash. It feels like drinking from a fire hose sometimes. <laughs> I know it's been a, uh -huh. a busy time. And so, but what does it feel like to be back in Texas? I mean, you grew up here, right? Well, as so. Dorothy says, there's no place like home. Yeah. Completely. So it's been a joy to come back home to Texas, to be close to family. You know, our daughter is in Austin. And new news out on the horizon there is our our youngest daughter just accepted a job at a university just two hours away from here. So her and her husband will be moving closer to us too. So, so all your chickens are my, right close My together, ducks right? are coming back yeah. home, home to the nest. And so, you know, that always makes a mama's heart happy. If you look back on your time here, what is the, like, a, like a favorite memory of the first year here? Well, that's you? hard to narrow down to one. There's been lots of favorite things that we've done. I guess, um, well, I just saw it in my kitchen this morning, the cookbook with Matthew Wendell and actually doing the cooking show and getting a chance to, to cook in our own kitchen with the former chef of President uh, George Bush and Laura Bush. And so that was a lot of fun. We had a great evening there with a lot of our alumni and some students and our homecoming king and queen that came to join yeah. us for that. We had a great time. But there's so many others getting to go and see all of the great productions that our students put on. I love, you know, music is close, near and dear to my heart. And so having the opportunity to do that is just something that I look forward to every time it pops up on the calendar. What about you? What's been the highlight of your last year? I don't think I've ever asked you that question, what your favorite thing is. Well, except been. for this moment right here, uh -huh. being with you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Um, Actually, I think what's been the best was, um, you know, my very first moment on campus, first, second on the job, I was in front of Old Main. And I was kind of like contemplating, like, this is a big job and a big place, and can I do this? You know, some uncertainty about this. I think any leader worth their salt you know, has some trepidation right. about how big the job's going to be. And uh, I looked over to my right and someone had written in the window, you belong here. Mm -hmm. And that moment just like, was just like, I get goosebumps now thinking about it. And it kind of like gave me the courage to like go into the office the next day. Right. Cause it was like midnight when I did it. And um, that kind of message has played itself over and over so many times. One of the things I've tried to do was try to become as accessible as I can to people, right. for students and faculty, oh, you staff, are. alumni, you and are accessible. making myself <laughs> available to people, and uh, to make sure they feel like they belong here too. And so yeah. that's been, if I could think about a single word that kind of summarizes the, that that first year, is belonging. Mm -hmm. um, uh, how I felt welcome and you felt welcome. Right at home. Uh, yeah. And then how we've tried to make everyone feel like they are welcome here and that they all belong here. You know, the first year is a year of just meeting and greeting multiple, multiple people. And I always really enjoy second, third year as we begin to build those relationships more than just the meet and greet and who yeah. you are, but who they really are. Yeah, the first so, year is really kind of like right. you're, you're just going and going all the time and never saying no to anybody. But now right. you can kind of the second and third year as we experienced at our previous institution, you can kind of dive in, dive in. a little deeper, yeah. start creating relationships as uh -huh. opposed to, as you say, just meeting people, yeah. actually getting to know people. Getting now. to know. Yeah. That's so, a lot of fun. So what are you looking forward to in the coming year then? You know, I love all of our athletic events. I love going. I love going and supporting our student athletes. So, you know, at this time of year, I start gearing up for football and getting ready for that or gearing up to, to support all of the students as they start those endeavors and they work so hard at doing that. So, of course, I'm looking forward to that. Looking forward to how I can get more plugged in 
yeah. maybe on campus. You know, the first year of getting us settled as a family, that always takes a lot of time and just learning your way around. But now maybe what's my area of something that I can focus on, whether it be campus beautification or something that can help to engage maybe our, you know, foster students that are coming here or I don't know. We're going to have to brainstorm yeah. that and see what is my niche because I don't know exactly what that is quite yet. Well, I know that you were very involved in Chamber of Commerce and Downtown Association, our previous institution. I think you've got some interest there right. as well, right? I do, and I've already started those those tracks of getting involved with our Chamber of Commerce here so that we can develop that relationship with our town and our university and help those connect together. We're planning some fun things that are in the fall that's actually going to be chamber-led um, that are going to help kind of gear up and get us started um, with a kickoff to our new football season. And It'll be the week before as our uh, area businesses get involved and begin to paint the town maroon and gold. Yeah. That'll be a lot of fun. What about you? What are you going to do this year? Well, what do uh, I need to be prepared you know, for? I, th I think the <laughs> biggest thing is we've got these big activities that are kicking off. You know, we spent a lot of time kind of figuring out the university, and then we started these two commissions one on the run to R1, but right. coupled with that was the Student Success Commission as well. Right. So, uh, try and decide how we're going to invest our resources in advancing both those missions. We also have a, a task force on Round Rock. It's a very important opportunity right. for us in Round Rock there. And then a task force on administrative burdens, trying to make things a little easier to, to, to manage on our campus. Uh, and now it's time for us to kind of, we've got those things going. Uh, we've got recommendations for them, and now we're actually going to decide like how we're going to invest resources and right. do that in a wise uh, uh, way as well to make sure that we're not uh, over-investing in one area and under-investing in another area, but also paying attention to something really important, which is the morale on our campus, so faculty and staff salaries, which is really important to me as well. They like would how like could, that. Yeah, that, they will, <laughs> and I understand that. So we're I working know. really hard on creating a, a, a salary package for our faculty and staff. So in addition to all those commissions and task forces we have going on, we also want to make this a great place to live and to work right. and to serve and to learn. I think there's lots of opportunity right on the horizon. There are. We're really uh -huh. excited about the future yeah. of Texas State University. Thank you for being a partner in this. I couldn't do it without you. Thanks for bringing me along. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, <laughs> people say, how can you do all this? And I always tell people it's because I've got a great wife oh, who, who doesn't just allow me to go do stuff. She actually goes with me. And right. that's, you know, our, our best dates are going out and watching exactly. our students and our faculty and staff engage with their, what they're doing. So, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And it's cheap, too. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, Bob Katz, it's an honor and a privilege to be part of your Texas State community, which has now become our Texas State community. I'm so proud to work alongside the people who are so dedicated to keeping students at the heart of all that we do. We've had an amazing first year. I know the years to come will be even better. It's a great day to be a Bobcat. State's up, everyone. <laughs>